Today I have a super exciting plugin to show you from my friends over at FX Factory who are sponsoring this video. And that plugin is called MoType2 from Yano Box. MoType2 is the most powerful title plugin I have ever seen for any software. And what's great is it works not just for Final Cut Pro, but it also works for Apple Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. Be prepared to have your mind blown. Now, of course, I'm the Final Cut Bro, so I'm gonna show you how to use it in Final Cut Pro today. You'll need to install MoType 2 using the FX Factory installer. There's also a free trial, so if you wanna try this out for yourself, you can do just that. Once you're in Final Cut Pro, you'll just wanna go over to your generators and you'll locate Yanobox MoType 2. In here, you are going to see that there are over 500 different presets to use for your videos. Now, what's really crazy is usually with a list this large of plugins, there's bound to be a few that you don't typically like. But with MoType 2, I like every single preset that is in here and I can easily see myself using every single one. In here, we will go ahead and just drag a few of these on the timeline. I'm gonna take the powerful credits and drag that on and I'll set this over to 60 frames per second. So if I push play just like that, we have these great titles loaded in. And if I wanted to, I could just select edit text and now I can type in whatever I like for this title. So I'll go ahead and just type in Dylan Bates and we could actually underline this and then we'll change executive producer, my subscribers and the associate producer, MoType2 from Yanobox. And so now if I push okay, we can push play and you'll see that all of the underlined text has this really nice color to it. And then the titles drift in so dynamically and nice we can go into the motion timing, and not only could we have this animate in, but we could also change the sequencing to be two. So if I change that, now all of the text is going to suck up into itself, which is really cool. We could adjust the duration to be much shorter. We could go into the trails settings and change all of these different options. We could get more samples if we wanted to. We could change the fade out so that it fades out much faster. We could go into the particle settings and change the selection probability so that there's more particles that it's working with or drag them down. Change the life frames, the speed, so if we want them to be much faster, we could do just that. Tons and tons of ridiculous options. And this is just one of 500 different presets. What we can do now is we'll just drag in this other one. And if I push play, it's got this great little animation popping in. We could drag this down to the bottom right. We could edit this text to say whatever we like. So I'll just have it say subscribe and we'll push okay. And so now just like that in real time, we have this gorgeous looking title here. We could disable the background. So if we wanted to throw in another title underneath that, we could do just that. Very, very cool to mix and match these different looks. Then after that, I'll go ahead and try this say hello to MoType 2 and I'll push play. And just look at how it has this great looking ink kind of design to it which I really, really love. I love the vibrant colors. We could go in here and you'll see how the different lines are actually adjusted according to whatever color the title was. So if we wanted this two to be a different color, we could change this over to a pink color for FX Factory and push okay and now it is pink just like that. Tons and tons of ridiculous amounts of power. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these credits. So we got the credits shine. They've got these light rays coming off of them and of course you can go in to edit this text and you can change it to look exactly as you want. You could change all of these to have different colors. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and take another look at some of these ink ones, which I really like. I don't know how they did it, but they made the ink look so realistic. It's so, so fun to play around with. And we can go ahead and play around with these rainbows. This particular plugin is just so massive that it is hard for me to showcase all of the different titles. So I strongly recommend that you actually go download the trial using the link down below. And if you like it, then you can pick it up for 10% off if you use the code, the Final Cut Pro. So this is one of my top must have plugins for Final Cut Pro because every single one of these titles is just so good and there are so many of them. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.